Over the last 10 to 15 years, Nicky Holskin has established himself as one of the best pound-for-pound -pound kickboxers in the world. He has faced big names such as Buakau, Andy Sauer, Joe Valtellini, Cedric Dumbe and more. Arguably the most iconic performance of Holskin's career came against one of kickboxing's biggest heels. Raymond Daniels had polarised fans with his bombastic and unorthodox style in addition to his in-your-face extrovert personality. Competing mostly in the World Combat League promotion against part-timers and hobbyists, Daniels had amassed a record of 24 wins and one loss, winning his fight with offence that looked like it was from a choreographed action film. Holtzkin became the first man to conclusively expose Daniels. Over three rounds of domination, Holtzkin's solid fundamental technique dropped Daniels four times. Eventually, Daniels was finished in the third round. For those still doubting the pedigree of Holtzkin, another good fight of his to see is his second bout with Cosmo Alexander. This is Cosmo Alexander who is probably most famous in the international combat sports scene for annihilating Sage Northcutt in 30 seconds in the one championship promotion. Over three rounds, Holskin dropped Alexander twice before again staggering him with a spinning hook kick in the third round and finishing him off with a straight right and an uppercut. The first thing you notice about Holskin's style is that he keeps a very disciplined tight guard with his arms parallel to his legs. It is difficult to oversell the importance of this guard under kickboxing rules as it can be used to block kicks to both the head and body with the body being a more targeted area in kickboxing than in MMA or boxing. If you contrast this guard with the guard used by Vanderlei Silva against Mirko Krokop, you can see by contrast he uses a more chicken wing guard. Consequently, Krokop was able to land roundhouse kicks under the guard of Vanderlei, with only taking a couple to produce a large welt on Vanderlei. To expand on Holskin's defensive skills, he generally defends leg kicks by using checks, which he is comfortable doing with either leg. When defending kicks, if he has enough time to react, he generally uses a 12-6 parry, which he sometimes follows with a kick. Holskin's best defensive skill is a left hook, which he throws with perfect body mechanics, pivoting on his lead leg for power. He throws as a tight counter, or at the end of a combination to either the head or body. As a slightly ambidextrous fighter, Holskin has been known to throw an effective straight and overhand left from a southpaw stance. In terms of his right hand, Holtzkin has a decent straight right hand when he uses it. He also regularly uses a punch that can be described as an overhand right slash right hook combo. In conventional western boxing, the overhand right is generally thrown at more of a diagonal slash vertical trajectory, with the guy using it leaning the upper body into the punch and taking the head off the centre line, making the head a more mobile, elusive target. The problem with this move under kickboxing rules is that it leans the upper body into the target which can make you susceptible to knees to the head and body, which is probably why Holskin throws his with more of a right hook trajectory, particularly against opponents who are shelling up. Holskin has generally kicked increasingly less through his kickboxing career as he's combined it with a stint as a professional boxer which has become increasingly more serious. Nevertheless, Holskin does possess good roundhouse kicks and also good front kicks. Sidekicks are a rarity in his arsenal, but he has been known to throw them, as you see here, after a court front kick. Although Holskin is primarily a kickboxer, he has good power knees, which he has used in his fights. Notably in his rematch with Raymond Daniels, a power knee opened up a large cut. He is also competent with power elbows when he has competed in rules that allow them. Beyond the core techniques, Holskin has a surprisingly diverse attack. He has landed spinning hook kicks in many of his fights. He has also been known to land spinning back kicks, in addition to spinning back fists and other unorthodox techniques such as jumping scissor knees. To get into a criticism of Holskin, one thing you have to say is he has been accused at certain points of his career of following his opponent around the ring rather than cutting the opponent off, or perhaps preempting their movement as you see Sam Art do here. Yeah, you know, he's, um, yeah he's, he's, he's a tough boy, Holton. Um, I'm just looking at his, look at his feet, he's, he's kind of following Smith around the ring rather than cutting them off. That being said, he is clearly one of the best kickboxers in the world. Although he came up short against Callum Smith in his world title challenge in boxing, he would undoubtedly beat Smith under kickboxing rules. One elite kickboxing talent who Holtzkin has not faced is Giorgio Petrosian. Although he has recently been seen competing one weight class above Petrosian's weight, he has fought at Petrosian's weight before 
and a match at a catch weight seems like a natural super fight. Let me know who you think would win that matchup, and on that note, I will conclude my video.